I mean, it's really, <laughs> it's really that simple. It's, uh, most of us have no idea what stillness means uh, because we never experience it except inadvertently, like maybe when you're running or doing some kind of exercise. Or, uh, but the mind is continuously active, which is okay. That's not really a problem. The problem is that we believe that's who we are. That we believe these thoughts are real and meaningful and important. Um, they aren't. Uh, that's just a belief that we've been programmed to, to believe. They're just happening out of different kinds of conditioning. But because we take them seriously and believe they're real, then we have all kinds of reactions to them. And we believe other people should think the way we do, and we try to impose our beliefs on them. And we get mad at them because they are not like us, and they should be. Uh, and then we get the sense of entitlement, you know, that we deserve to be treated the way we think we should be. And it just, it's endless craziness. And there is a way out of it. And the way out is to see through the whole thing and realize that, where does it start? It starts with you believing your thoughts are important and real. And all human beings are doing the exact same thing. It's what's called the ego. The ego is a constructed self, the historical self, who you've been taught you are, but who, in the eyes of God, uh, is not really who you are. Because if it dies, you, it's not who you are. It's not the body dies. This mind dies. You are eternal. You always have been. You always will be. But it's like knowing the you that doesn't die is the goal. That wasn't born either. So that's what we try to get at in terms of understanding the truth. But a step in that direction is to begin to just watch your mind and not assume that it's important or real. So you watch your thoughts and you begin to realize if you actually will do this, and it's not that hard to do, it's called being in the witness or the watcher or the observer. So you can learn to watch yourself thinking. Now, this may sound odd, but it's really not that hard to do. And this is something I encourage people to do if they want to. And you'll notice your mind is active all day long. And what the content of the mind is, is trivia. It's judgments, it's criticisms of yourself and others, it's replaying fantasies of the past or imaginary futures that are not real. The past is not real, it's not happening now. There's no need to replay it. There's no need to have regret about it. It's gone. The future is not here, so there's no need to worry about it or have anxiety about it. Or you're just having a projected, imagined future that you're creating in your mind and then having all these imaginary reactions to it. Like, for what? There's no point to it. It's a complete waste of time. But it does make you more or less miserable. So if you want to be free and happy, you realize there's no need to do this. You just always thought there was. And everybody is doing the same thing. But it's like being a gerbil on an activity wheel. You can step off if you want to. 